Can you hear me? First, he breathes new life into his patients. The gift of life, the freedom of life. Robert De Niro co-stars in Awakenings. I will not share you without the women. Next, he's a car salesman who can't keep his hands off the body. Oh, we're going to play Mandingo again, huh? Tim Robbins co-stars in Cadillac Man. The Robin Williams Double Feature, Sunday, February 9th, starting at 8 p.m. 7 Central on Showtime. Hailed as one of this century's great innovations, the remote allows the viewer to... Hailed as a pretty darn good channel, Showtime presents great entertainment. The average viewer uses this great innovation 85 times a day. Over the next five years, Showtime will present 500 exclusive new movies. Movies like... Rendering this great innovation obsolete. Five years, 500 new movies. The Showtime 500. Kevin Costner, the thinking woman's heartthrob, the most compelling everyman of the screen today. His first film as director signals the arrival of an important new filmmaker, and he's starring tonight in the Kevin Costner triple feature. For the last few years, he's been one of the screen's most popular leading men and a box office superstar around the world. Fame like this means clout in Hollywood. Three years ago, Costner risked that clout to fulfill a dream to produce, direct, and star in a three-hour epic western. I've always wanted to see the frontier. Do you want to see the frontier? Yes, sir. Before it's gone. The gamble paid off. Dances with Wolves captured the hearts of moviegoers, critics, and the Motion Picture Academy. It won seven Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director. Kevin Costner was in Hollywood heaven. Everybody kept trying to ask me, what's your style? And I said, gee, I don't know. I guess, you know, my style is that I don't have one. <laughs> you know, but uh, clearly, you know, once everybody starts working, you know, one emerges. And when I wave, that's when you guys will go. Ironically, Costner's success story began on the cutting room floor. He received quite a bit of attention for his parts that were cut out of major films, namely Francis and The Big Chill. The director of The Big Chill, Lawrence Kasdan, made it up to the young actor by casting him in Silverado. His career as a sexy, versatile movie star had begun. The reality is, I like the action scenes. I like being on the horse. I like having a gun in my hand. I feel much more comfortable with a gun in my hand than a woman in my arms. Uh, a woman's not a foreign thing, you know, to me. But the reality is, you know, I, I like the dirt. I like rolling the dirt. You know, it's still fun for me to play army. In Revenge, a movie Costner also produced, he finds himself with the woman and the gun. Where is she? And veteran actor Anthony Quinn. Do you think my wife is beautiful? What? Hmm. What do you want me to say? Of course. I do almost anything to keep her. It's a tale of lust, betrayal, and revenge. Directed by the top man on Top Gun, Tony Scott. Okay, stand by. Right, here we go. Costner falls into another tangled triangle in the political thriller No Way Out. This time, he's in a steamy love affair with Sean Young, who's also keeping time with the Secretary of Defense, played by Gene Hackman. You tell me. No! You tell me who it is. It's not a thing like you. It's a cover-up. That's all I can tell you. These people have already tried to kill one person who knew. You can spend an entire evening with this Hollywood idol, a sexy, charming, can-do kind of guy, Kevin Costner, in three of his most compelling roles, Dances with Wolves, No Way Out, and Revenge. Stay tuned for the Kevin Costner triple feature coming up next, only on Showtime. The following is an exclusive movie presentation brought to you by Showtime. We entertain you like no one can. Tonight's Kevin Costner triple feature continues with the riveting political thriller No Way Out, a film many believe was the turning point in his career, 
According to Costner, it had all the right elements. This is a movie that reminds me why I like movies. It, you don't know what the ending's gonna be. You like all the characters, whether they're good or bad, and there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of dilemma. Washington is the playing field for the suspenseful game of cat and mouse. It begins with a steamy love affair that leads to betrayal and a high-level government conspiracy. This is a cover-up. These people have already tried to kill one person who knew. Stay tuned for Gene Hackman, Sean Young, and Kevin Costner in No Way Out. Followed immediately by Revenge. The following movie is brought to you by Showtime. Unedited and commercial free.